Howdy folks, it's a tall trailer here and welcome back to X-Plane 11. I'm still using my new headset microphone setup. It doesn't sound as great initially, but you get used to it. At least that's what I noticed during editing is my voice just sounds normal after a couple minutes. We're going to keep using this just because it's extremely comfortable. And um, that's more important to me right now than extreme voice quality so what we're gonna do with okay voice quality just want to point that out so what are we doing we are doing subscriber requests today Canton of Valais 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 not sure how to say that but it's gonna be an early sunrise mountain flight today um, we're starting at LSGR so Lima Sierra Golf Romeo and we're going to fly south kind of southeast Lima Sierra Papa Uniform. You can look on the map if you want to see where that is. Um, but otherwise, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do the Turbo Aero 4 by Just Flight. And we know it's the Turbo Aero 4 because of the high tail in the back, which you'll see in a moment. I'm just enjoying the scenery with the Auto Gen. If you check out this Auto Gen, the um, European Auto Gen, look at that. Awesome, awesome. First thing we're going to do, though, is we're actually going to do something. Do you notice how the airplane is on the end of the runway? That's because there were no ramp starts when I selected this airport, but there is a hangar over there. So we're going to put this airplane over there. I want to show you how to do it. I've done this before on camera, and it was very helpful for people. Um, so we're going to do it again, because it's been like 100 videos since we've done it before. So all you need to do is you pull up your map, and you zoom in on yourself as far as you can like this and then you click on yourself and then you can drag yourself wherever you want it so it's like slew mode like so let's put it right there let's spin around and see where we are there we go and then you can turn it like that in fact let's move him over a little bit whoop it's kind of opposite controls there we go so that's how you move your airplane. Now we're all set. If you want to see on the map what we're doing, we're starting here. We're going to fly over to here. Short flight, it's only like 25 nautical miles or something. But under the train, we have to fly down this valley and then come over. And we'll talk about that in the flight plan portion of the startup. So there we go. Our airplane is now set and ready to go. People can enter and we can get this thing going. I don't think there's anything else I need to say. Whoops, I bumped air traffic control. Um, there's no more thing to say. We have real world weather turned off because it's really stormy right now and really windy, so we wouldn't be able to fly, which is kind of funny because in real life here in Minneapolis is really stormy and really windy, and this is actually my third attempt at this video because the power went out twice. And I forgot I don't have a UPS on my computer because when I did, it was too small, and every time I load flight sim, it would trip the UPS. So that reminds me I need to get a UPS on my computer, and I probably shouldn't be recording right now, but I'm going to. The fact that you're watching this means I survived. So, enough hooly dooly. Let's hop inside and get this going with the actual flight. Actually, no, we don't want to be inside. We want to be outside because we want to remove the chocks first, like so. And while we're out here, let's close the baggage door and um, do some weight and balance. So because I have subscribe requests, let's put me in here. And I don't know what my sub request is, so 185 it is. We're going to bring some kids. We're going to bring my kid, my 9-year-old. That is not a typo for weight from my 9-year-old. And then we're going to bring my 12-year-old, who is there. And then some snacks, a lot of snacks, and half fuel. And there we go. There's our weight and balance. All right, what are we going to do next? We're going to hop inside and check this parking brake, and it is set. And then we're going to make sure the controls are idle, and they are. We are going to turn the battery on, which is the left one. We're going to make sure that the fuel gauges indicate half full, and they are. Annunciator lights are on, and there we go. Battery can now come off. All right, trim to neutral, it always is in this aircraft. Recharge the battery. We don't need to, but if you wanted to here, you would do it. And then check for spark plug fouling. Don't need to. We haven't flown in a while. All righty, we're going to make sure the auto switch is set for fuel tanks because it uses fuel from the wings. And if you don't switch tanks back and forth every 20 minutes or so, you will be lopsided and harder to fly. So the simulator will do that for you. You can actually hear it faintly in the background. All right, let's hop outside and we reclose the baggage door. Yes, we did. So we can hop inside again and we're going to close this door. Let's try to do it ourselves instead of using. Come on, 
<laughs> it's really hard to do. There we go. Instead of using the menu. And we're going to lock it like so. Then we're going to latch it. And we're going to make sure it's actually locked. Because we have flown this thing with the door ajar. So let's check. And it looks closed to me. Alrighty, let's hop down here and let's put the fuel tank to the left tank like that. And then props are going to go forward all the way. Uh, alt air closed and it already is. Confirm the avionics are off and they're not because when you load this thing, some of these are on. That one is off in which position? I can't see, it's too dark. Let's turn on our flashlight. Oh, my flashlight button doesn't work. Hey, how come my flashlight button doesn't work? Okay, whatever. There, that should be off and everything else is off. Okay, avionics are off. Battery can come on. The nav and rotation beacons can come on. Fuel pump can go on low for the turbo prop, which is the turbo, not turbo prop, turbo version, which is what this is. Mixture rich. Um, throttle a quarter. Yell clear prop out the window, clear prop, and start it right up. And away we go. There we go. I'm still wondering why my flashlight button isn't working. Weird. Anyway, I'll worry about that some other time. Alrighty, confirm the oil and oil temp and pressure are rising, and they are. Alternator switch right there somewhere. There we go. Confirm these lights went out. And they just did. I feel like there's something else missing in my intro. I don't know. During editing, I'll remember, which is too late. Come down here. Oh boy, what is it? This one? This one. There we go. Uh, throttles between 1400 and 1500 while it warms up. There we go. Make sure gyro suction is okay. That's top left of the six pack. Here's your six pack here. It's top and left of it. Um, turn on all those avionics. Turn on this one, and turn on that one, turn on that one, and that one, and that one, and turn this on standby. Boom, and then indent that thing so it stops flashing at us. There we go. Fuel tanks, make sure they work. So go to the right fuel tank. Whoa, right fuel tank is that way. Left is that way. Sync the gyros. Watch your, hey, well, this isn't really HSI, but watch this thing here. Sync it. Boom. Cut the drifts every couple minutes, every 20 minutes. I, for myself, um, linked sync gyros to Y on my keyboard. So every 20 minutes, I just keep hitting Y on my keyboard, and it lines everything up. Um, altimeter barometer. Robo Brothers turned off because of the storm, so 2902, which we already are. All right, flight plan. Shouldn't be too bad. It's probably already in here, and it is because this is my third attempt, like I said, because my power kept going out. So we're going to go direct to there. Boom. 25 home nautical miles or so. Um, see, not very far. We will use GPS. I mean, we will use um, 106. We will use... Where does he set that on here? You can't set that because that will mess up your thing. See, now it's not synced. I guess you don't set it. Over here? No, that's the ADF card. I don't know. Anyway, if we had an HSI, a full HSI, we would set it to 106. Maybe you can use 106 on this. Maybe. Is that going to flip for us? No. Yeah, there you go. Okay, let's... Maybe. I don't know if that's this or if that's this. What if I turn it off? I don't know. No, that's nav 2. This is nav... Who knows? Okay, that's this. So now we both know. Okay. So never mind, that's nav 2, that's nav 1, course to 106. I don't know, maybe this would work. I don't think this has anything to do with it. I'm going to shut, shut up and stop talking now. So anyway, coming back to here, if we had a full HSI, I would set it to 106. But we're not going to worry about that. We are just going to make sure this is set to GPS. But more realistically, we'll just use the heading bug with autopilot so we can sight see because of the mountains. So that's all there is to it. Um, because of the terrain, we are going to probably pull up the VS VFR map on our lap, which in this case is an iPad with tracking. Because if this were really just a map, we wouldn't have tracking because it would be a paper map. But we're going to take advantage of technology. We're going to fly down here, get altitude, and then as soon as we can, we're going to cut over. Hopefully we can cut over these mountains to LSPU 
and not have to come down here. If we have to come all the way to this valley and just follow the valley, we will. Um, but we're going to try to cut across, but not too close because we have to come down from, this is like 14,500 feet, I think. So maybe we'll come down here, give us time to descend. And our airport is at 4,300 feet. Okay. I think that's it for the awkwardness. We're going to taxi now, aren't we? Yes, there are no taxi lights in this aircraft. So all we're going to do is hop out here and taxi to whatever one way we want. So we're going to take the parking brake off, bring back um, the mixture so we don't follow the spark plugs, and just taxi away. Short little taxi. Don't go into the water on accident. Then we're going to take off on this runway, which I don't know what number it is, because it doesn't matter, because there's no wind. Alright, so here we go. Anything else we need to do? I think we're all set until we get to the end of the runway. And again, you can tell this is the Turbo Aero 4, because the tail wing is on top of the aircraft. So there we go. Alright, while well, those cars are going really fast. Alright, runway 22 it looks like. Does this say don't taxi, even though we already did? too bad. Alright, let's get ourselves lined up in the center of the runway and then we will get ready for departure. Since this is an airport, we can announce our departure. Alright, let's stop this thing. Parking brake set. Yes, the call sign is okay, man. What do you need to do? We're not going to do a run up. We're due for one, but we're not going to because of real life time constraints. I'm trying to get this flight in before my eldest child gets home from his friend's house. All right, confirm battery and all switches are on. We did fuel pump on low. Yes, all air closed. It is. Props and mixtures full forward. Now they are. Flaps at 10 degrees, which is first set. Megs on both, which they are. Landing lights on. There we go. Trim in the middle already. It's confirmed the door is locked and latched. There's locked down there. Latched is up there. Pedo heat on heading bug set to runway heading we just push it there we go and set autopilot we will when we're in the air we just come down here and turn it on couple it to well in this case probably heading for heading bug and then heading on and then um this piper is your secret alt hold just for convenience because it doesn't actually exist in the real aircraft all right, let's see here. What else is there to do? So the airport is to the left, but we're really just going to go south through here until we get altitude. And then probably come across somewhere. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. We have plenty of time. Um, it says start the clock and the timer. I don't see... Oh, it's on this. Yeah, it's here now. They've updated some things. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Everything forward and parking brake off. And boost this thing. Listen to that turbo go. Wow, that's loud. But I'm going to keep it loud because no one else can hear it but me. At least not in my house. All right. Airspeed is well alive. There's 40. There's 50. 55. 58. 59. 60. And 2. And pop up. There we go. Very smooth without wind. Positive rate, gear up, and we'll bring flaps up in a moment. There we go. Now, um, were we making a turn? Are we going to follow? We're going to follow to the left. We're going to go straight for a while, then follow it down to the left. Okay. So let's keep our rate of climb as high as we can. Bring back the throttle so we get the turbo over speed, over boost. See that over boost light? Let's turn that off so we don't blow it up and um we're set we're gonna keep the fuel pump on for a little bit here let's hop outside and have a nice look at where we just left from while we try to fly outside which is very difficult and then um look at that great view there and then i think we're going to go to the left there if i recall let's see let's hop inside and pull up our map and I think that's where we want to turn left. Nope. We're going to keep going straight a little bit. We're going to follow this terrain. Again, because we have no idea where we are. So the first time you'd fly this, you'd probably have somebody with you who knows where they're going. 
we're basically just trying to get altitude and then we'll use the use heading bug or GPS depending on what we feel comfortable doing but otherwise it's very smooth everything is working here we go what are we going to do here fuel pump off and landing lights off we'll keep our landing lights on because we're in the mountains but we can turn off the fuel pump if we can get there there we go and we're just going to fly now until we um, decide to engage autopilot I see 23 or 28 on the manifold pressure and 23 on the um, props we're not ready to cruise yet but we're going to keep the props back a little bit we're going to keep the manifold pressure going pretty hard here so we can climb checking our temperatures where are they in this aircraft I'm thinking of the different aircraft different temperatures hmm. well if we don't start on fire because we're going to keep the manifold boosted checking our map we did want to turn there so let's do that now oh boy we're going to make it you would not fly this close to train in real life because the gusting winds can suck you into the mountains but we're not going to worry about that today so here we go um, what else we need to do? nothing so we're going to cruise along, I'm going to hand fly I think I'm going to hand fly I want to do some sightseeing but I also want to hand fly but I'll crash into some mountains if I'm if I'm not careful here oh, there's nothing to see folks there we go, there's a good view how awesome is that? Otherwise, I'm just going to follow this map because I really have no idea where we're going and I don't want to crash into the mountains. And then once we get high enough, we'll cut over. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get you some sightseeing. But I'm also going to try to hand fly this thing. Anyway, we'll figure something out. I'll see you in a little bit. Alright, so we are sitting here navigating <laughs> these mountains, man, and just trying to um, get through them. Crazy. So we came from there, which you actually can't see at the moment. And now we're coming up here. If you want to look at the map, it looks like that. Let me see if I can zoom this out a little bit. Isn't that crazy? So now we're going to fly this way a while. And then we might have to cut through here. Or we might... Actually, you know, we could have just gone straight. Huh. That would have been the smart thing to do, was go straight. And then take this. But whatever. We're doing this the hard way, apparently. We're at 9,500 feet. So maybe we'll take this through here. And just follow the valley in. Because this is getting really crazy. <laughs> and we still have everything pretty much full power. So that's probably what we'll do just come around this corner here but it's been a lot of fun so far it was hard not to keep everything in the video but then it'd be like you know a super long video so anyway it's just gorgeous to look at 
I just, oh my gosh. I don't know. It's going to take a lot for me to convert to MS20, MS FS2020. We'll see. But I think this is our turn there. Pretty much here. Yep. Okay. So let's go this way now and avoid these peaks. And then um, we're f we'll find our way to that valley because this probably wasn't the best way to take. But that's okay. I can't imagine flying into the airport we just took off from. Maybe we'll have to do that someday where we do it backwards. In fact, I'm going to add that to my list to do this the other direction soon. Because that would be awesome. I'll just have to remember which way to go because this is tough. Yeah, take the valley to the lake and then turn. So, anyway, I'm going to keep flying here. We're going to come through here. And then we'll start coming down. And then once we get to this valley, we'll just follow the valley nice and low until we see the airport. Because there's no real weather. We don't have to worry about wind. We'll just fly straight in. And um, we're still hand flying, by the way. No autopilot. And we're still climbing, so we're going quite slowly. But we're just about to reach what we'll consider our height here. Maybe at 10,000 or so. We're actually coming up on 11,000. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to fly a plane and give you a little bit of sightseeing. Well, there's that scary peak right there. And I'll catch you in a little bit. So there's our valley we're going to follow, I think, because it goes both ways. Actually, let's have an outside view. See this valley? It goes to the left there. And then over here, it goes to the right. See that? There's an airport there. So if you look on the map, it's this valley right here, except the crazy thing is it feels like it's right below us, but it really isn't really over these mountains still so it's very fascinating the perception so anyway we're going to start coming down now actually we got all the way up to 12,000 feet to clear this pretty crazy we're just going to come down um, keep our speed quite high and just follow this valley pretty much well not pretty much but all the way to our airport so let's bring our throttles back a little bit so we start descending and then we will um, curve around. If you look on the GPS, this will curve us around like this. And we'll be at our destination. Because of our sightseeing, we got a little off track. <laughs> That's the hard thing about sightseeing. But at least we get to see this beautiful city together. I should look up what city that is. And then look up real life pictures of it. 
and I'm sure it's amazing. So anyway, the train is going to climb, but we know that airport is at 4,300, so actually let's level off in a moment here, because um, we're at 6,700, so we're only about 23 feet, 2,300 feet above our destination, and we have quite a ways to go. We got 15 miles, so let's get down, let's get down about 6,000, we'll level off. And then our descent checklist, altimeter barometer for the destination, which we already have, because there's none. Props forward, we'll do in a minute, landing lights on, throttles back, approach at 110 knots. And then fuel pump on, 1,000 AGL, gear down at 180, for 85 for first set of flaps, which is super easy. So 100, you get gear down and first set of flaps. And then second set of flaps at 85, touchdown at like 65 or so. I think there's 6,000 feet. Let's go up a little bit here. Touchdown to 75 knots. Sorry, I'm mixing up my airplanes. It's been a while. So here we go. Let's get our throttles back in. Back up. Whoop. There we go. Let's level off a little bit. We'll use the throttles to stop our descent. Come on. And we'll trim back a little. All right. So now we're sitting 4,000. We're sitting at 1,700 feet above our destination. We don't know the area, so let's pull up our map. It's quite a ways to our destination. 12 and a half miles. LSPU is where we're going. Hopefully it's to fly straight in. I don't see it in front of us, but we should see it soon. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping we can see it. It's probably right up here. I think that's it right there, actually. So we just need to know the landing altitude and the runway heading, which in this case is going to be roughly 50. So we can actually set our heading bug to 50. Like, oh, well, actually, that's what we're aimed at right now. Yeah, look at that, 50. Coincidence. So we are at runway heading. That has to be it right there. But we're going really fast. So we'll slow down in a little bit. Let's do a little bit more sightseeing. And then we really have to focus so we can land this thing, because this is a tight fit. Alright, as gorgeous as this is, we do need to land an airplane. I don't quite understand where the runway is, to be honest. But let's, um, let's get everything going here. Bring back the throttles to slow us way down. Actually, pull us back to slow us down. Throttles back so we don't descend. And how are our props doing? Keep our props out of the red. Alrighty, let's see. Are we ready for gear? We're six miles out. I see the beacon. I don't quite make out the runway, though. Let's get gear down. Yeah, first set of flaps down. We keep our speed up a little bit. There's 90 knots. There's 85. Second set of flaps. That's what the horn was. I don't quite understand the runway. Where is that? Oh, it is literally in front of us. Okay, that is the runway. Like, literally in front of us. That's touchdown speed. Let's not do that yet. Okay, so we're just going to come in like this. The extra drag is causing it to be a little wobbly. We're a little slow. Let's stop descending, please. Trim back so we don't have to fight so much. Pitch down to keep our speed at 85 or so. Throttle so we don't descend. And, um, I do want to sightsee, but we can't. This little thing right there, that is the front of the runway. That's the end of the runway. That's all we get. Teeny tiny little runways. So if we have to go around, I think you have to go around the entire country. I don't think you can. <laughs> you can just go around. All right, fuel pump on low. Um, let's see, because we are only 600 feet above ground level. 
Uh, what else? I'm just glad it's not windy right now. This is hard enough to fly without wind. I can't imagine what it would be like with wind. Holy cow. Otherwise, everything is good. We'll do one more set of flaps. Touchdown to 75 with a slight flare. And um, slam on those brakes. All right, some risky sightseeing, but we seem to have survived. Good. All right. All right, let's bring the throttles back so we can slow down. So actually, I'm pitching up to slow down, but bring the throttles back so we maintain our descent. But um, they work together, of course. Of course, if you bring the throttles back, you'll slow down if you hold pitch. But um, you should think of it as pitch for speed, throttles for descent rate. Do we do three sets of flaps on this thing? Yeah, right now, full set, full flaps, here we go. Coming in, no pappy or anything, completely VFR. Man, even without wind, this is tough. That's our touchdown speed. Let's um, keep our speed up a little bit here. Wow, this is hard to control, even without wind. Holy cow, let's see what we can do here. Historically, we have a really good track record of landing this plane, but I only fly every couple months now, so granted there was a video like a week ago, but other than that, I don't fly very often, so I don't get much consistent practice to remain current, but here we go. Wow, we're starting to oscillate here. Probably because we got full flaps and going so slowly, but the shortness of this runway freaks me out. If you notice the touchdown zones, like the rubber, almost touch. So here we go, we're going to go right for the end of this runway. Coming down, there's a touchdown speed. We're going to land a little slow, maybe tease the stall horn if we can. So let you go pitch down, keep that speed up, throttles back. And we're going to tease that stall horn, flare slightly. And really rough landing. <laughs> that was like 500 feet per minute. I think we stalled. I don't think there's a stall horn, to be honest. I think... I was waiting to tease the stall and I don't think there was one, so we ended up hitting pretty hard. But you know what? Whew, that's okay. Alrighty, we're just going to roll this out, and I think we're going to turn around. Um, I don't know. I'm bringing back the mixture right now so that we don't foul it up. Whoa, okay, sorry. Um, let's see here. I think everything was up here. Or maybe there's nothing. Let's hop outside quick. Maybe there's just nothing here. Uh, maybe that's a building up to the left. Anyway, flaps are, flaps are already in. 27 minute um, flight time. Landing lights can come off. Fuel pump can come off. Pedo heat can come off. And we're just going to see if that's a building. Oof, that was a rough landing. Oh well. Alright, looks like we actually have a private hanger over there. So we're gonna actually gonna go over there and we'll just stop right here and set that parking brake. And what are we gonna do? Okay, do 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 parking brake set. Avionics can all come off, which is that one and 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 that one. Uh time at that one. There we go. Alright, throttles to idle. Mixture cut off. There we go. Megs off. Turn off the remaining lights, which are just those two. Alternator to off. Battery to off. Fuel tank selector to the OFF. Open the doors, which I thought I had a preset for that. I don't know where my preset is for my door. There it is. I guess I really need it. I could have been faster with a mouse. Good grief. And open this door, and I'm getting text from a parent of a child, which is probably good I'm ending now, because with my luck, I have to do parenting yet tonight. Open the baggage door and set the chocks. And that is it. Oh, by the way, if you mouse wheel, you can hide that arrow. Drives me crazy that people don't hide that arrow when they're streaming and <laughs> recording. But hopefully you enjoy the flight. I'm going to also fly this in reverse. 
and um, same airplane and everything, but a different time. So if you are new here, please like, please subscribe, please share with your friends. If you have a request for a flight, let me know in the comments, and I'll fly it as soon as I can. Like I said, this was a sub-request. My next flight is going to be sub-request, and then I have some other things um, planned unless I get more sub-requests. So thank you, thank you, everybody. We're coming up on a 1,000 subs. I was hoping to hit it by the end of the year, but maybe it'll be sooner than that. Um, just let people know that we exist. GA aircraft, 99% of the time. And um, that's all I got to say. I'll see you next time.